Sheridan is about as western as it gets from horse-drawn carriages to national historic sites. But western ways don't thrive on their own. It takes dedication from organizations and volunteers to preserve the hometown feel visitors are looking for. Well, it's definitely more of a, a small town kind of, I guess, cowboy feel. Recently, the town of Sheridan was named the number one western town in America by True West Magazine. Main Street exemplifies those western qualities with mom and pop shops, historical attractions, and a hometown feel. We not only celebrate with uh, cowboy poets and western music, but we have opera, we have classical music, we have um, higher education, and all sorts of other things. So we get the best of the old and the new here in a very, very much the way the old west was. We're very proud of what our history is and what it offers people to see into the past and yet Sheridan is progressive enough that we don't just focus on our past we look to the future. Penny Becker is the executive director of travel and tourism in Sheridan. She says tourism has motivated organizations and volunteers to keep the town's western spirit alive. When you come into our historic downtown and you have 30 buildings on the National Historic Register, you know that people have worked hard to keep those buildings on the register and in a beautiful fashion. I think tourism really is important. People have realized how valuable it is to, to, um, to show their heritage to the visiting public. Modern advancements have allowed tourists from around the world access to Wyoming, giving residents yet another reason to preserve the Old West for generations to come. I think that's pretty cool. I think it's something that should be retained over time because it's part of our history as a country. The latest issue of True West magazine still ranked Sheridan in the top 10 western towns after being named number one last year. Cheyenne was also listed taking the number five spot.